All right, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. I have an awesome, awesome video for you guys here. Yo, the support has been crazy. It's been absolutely amazing. I can't thank you guys enough, man. All the likes, all the comments, I read all of them, all the new subs as well. Dude, my channel has been taking off recently. It's all thanks to you guys. And I'm going to reward you guys, or I'm going to thank you guys with the best gameplay you guys will probably see all year. This is a $250 sub tournament hosted by my guy Slim Ghost on Twitch. It's hosted by Players Lounge as well. Go check those guys out if you guys are interested in playing money games. Great website to play for money. And uh, we're going to be playing for $250 right here against some serious, the Titans Club champion, one of the better competitive Madden players in the world. It is going to be the craziest game you watch all year, I promise. It's it's unbelievable. But with that being said, man, I'm not gonna waste any more of your guys' time. Let's go ahead and jump into the highlights. I hope you guys enjoy the video, man. All right, here we go, man. We're starting off early here. We're in strong close on third and eight after an incompletion and a two-yard run. Raheem Moser into the flat, picking up a really nice gain for us. We're in that Raiders playbook, like I said. A lot of trips, a lot of strong close, I form close. Trying to have a balanced scheme, run and pass about the same. We're playing some serious, the Titans club champion. One of the best players I've played, man. Super creative on offense. He's not as creative as he, he, he used to be this year. He's kind of just running bunch. Previous years, he ran spread, which is what I'm known for as well. So definitely very similar players, me and him. However, on defense, that is kind of like the glaring difference. He runs this double A gap right there. I had the corner out early, going for and forth and 13. Probably not the best decision I've ever made. I definitely had it. I just threw it way too late. Right here, we're going to absolutely scream at him. He somehow gets away from Ricky Jackson, who's running possessed. And then Taylor Mays, unfortunately, though, our user forces an illegal contact. And then a really nice dot here to Stefan Diggs out of the slot. So he's running this Carolina bunch, man. Super tough to stop. Definitely the biggest meta in the game right now. Trips definitely super popular as well. It's such a good formation. But bunch out of the Carolina playbook, so, so popular. And for good reason. It's extremely difficult to stop. We are running this over G defense. I'm super, I, however, as, as good as bunch is, I'm super confident in my ability to stop it, man. I can't even really explain my adjustments to you guys. There's so many of them. Based on, I basically just anticipate what play I think they're going to run and then make adjustments based on it. It's kind of a guessing game, but I try to run a couple, you know, different setups that guard a couple of different plays and then I make a couple of minor tweaks here and there. But again, I'm very confident in my bunch defense. I know I can get stops on this guy. Holding the three after turning the ball over is great for us. Right here, Julio Jones. Julio up top and deep down the middle man coming up with a big time touchdown for us so that was a you know we started off pretty poorly but we turned around very quickly we got a stop held him to three and then threw in a big time bomb right there to Julio Jones Julio Jones in my opinion I know a lot of people don't use him I think he is the best wide receiver in the game a lot of people will say scary Terry because he's super quick or uh, perhaps DK Metcalf super fast as well but in my opinion Julio Jones is the best he runs super crispy routes and oh my god we had a user pick right there with Ron Ronnie Lott, even Palomalu could have got to it too, but instead, man, Palomalu swats it down, basically sabotaging my own player right there. Should have been an interception. We'll take the ball back anyway. Third and eight right here. We're going to hit my opponent with a bit of a drag. He's been kind of back in these zones very deep. I noticed that in previous plays. I've been running a lot of tight end posts, corner routes, stuff like that. He leaves the left side flat wide open. I didn't put a route on that part of the field yet. It pays off big time for us. We're going to be forced to kick three here. Definitely a bit of a conservative play call running the ball right there. But again, I'm super reliant on my defense game. I'm very confident. Like I said, I'm good against bunts. I know I can get stops. And speaking of stops, man, it should have been another one. Ronnie Lott not able to come up with a pick last drive. Not able to force a fumble right there. I would have loved to fumble, man. Ronnie Lott on Cunningham. Unfortunately, we're not able to get a hit stick. And then Stephon Diggs is absolutely cooking me out of that slot right now. Four for eight for my opponent. Only 50% completion. So, again, good defense right here. We got to keep him out of bounds. I click off. I should have stayed clicked on and just sprinted dead towards the sideline. I took a pretty good angle to begin with, but then I clicked off. I don't know why I really did that. I thought maybe he would see me running towards the sideline, try to fake, fake me back inside, and then go out of bounds afterwards for a couple extra yards. But... He takes the conservative approach, and giving up three there kind of hurts, man. I'm not going to lie. Right there, he has a dot, but we're using under pressure on our ends. It pays off big for us. That under pressure ability is super nice. If if you get a block set and you have under pressure on your 
Oh, speaking of that, let's go DRC, man. DRC putting the receiver under pressure, coming up with a huge interception on the corner route down the sideline. But basically what I was saying, man, if you have under pressure on your end, it's a two AP ability. You put that on your end. If they get a shed and they're running in on the quarterback, man, it gives you a bigger area of disruption. So your, your, your opponent's more likely to get those... You know, those throw out of sacks, they're more likely to get those under pressure and accurates. And as you can see right there, it basically helped us get a stop. And then Reggie Bush scampers into the end zone to put us up two possessions now. The run game had been okay up to this point. He'd been shooting a couple of my runs. But right there, we have a huge lane. And then right here, super risky pass. Almost got to it with my user. My corner who was guarding him was glowing orange. I probably wouldn't throw anywhere near a corner that was glowing orange. He's got that universal coverage. Uh, speaking of that, I mean, he, I just, I say that, and then he just throws a curl right at him. DRC, nowhere to be found, but that's kind of a tough route to throw right there. And then right here on fourth and two, everything is bagged. Literally nothing was open. Ricky Jackson has been going absolutely insane this game. Comes up for me big time. Second and 14 after taking a sack on first down. Raheem Mostert at wide receiver is cooking Denzel Ward. It seems like my other receivers really aren't getting open against man, but my running back at receiver is... And the reason I use a running back at receiver is because, one, Mostert's really fast. So he can cook a bunch of people on pretty much any routes. Obviously, he's not going to really get open on, on corner routes or anything like that. But on motion routes where he's not getting pressed, he's going to get open because he does have the wheels. And then not only that, but I can actually audible to I-form close or strong close as well. Two great formations that have good runs, good pass plays as well. My opponent plays great defense, though. That was a big-time stop for him. If we score right there, we go up three possessions. He would have been in a really bad spot, but he holds us to three. We're up 14 here in the fourth quarter. I still like my spot. He's been struggling a lot here on defense. Right here, he throws us another pick. We drop another one, man. We've dropped like three or four already this game. DRC still glowing orange. Threw it right to him. Just smacked him in the hands. And second and ten, Randall Cunningham aches off. Not able to contain him. I'm not really spying him right now. And then Calico up top. Cooking Cromartie. It's tough to expect Cromartie to play that. That was man coverage right there. A really nice fade route for my opponent to put him in the red zone. And then too easy of a pass. I messed up one of my adjustments. Left the entire left side of the field absolutely wide open. I was underneath it with my user, but just way too far underneath. A really nice dot for my opponent there to bring the game back in with, within seven. 318 on the clock to go. We throw a beam right here after a one-yard rush on first down. Julio Jones, like I said, my favorite receiver in the game. I got route technician and slot apprentice on him. He's just absolutely cooking. And who else, man? Julio Jones just having himself a game. Please go get this card. He's so good. He runs crispy, crispy routes. He's got decent speed. A lot of people don't use him because he's not as fast as Metcalf or um, Scary Terry. But, I mean... Dude, I promise you, he's so good. He doesn't drop anything. He doesn't have that glitch that Stephon Diggs gets a lot in corner routes where the ball goes through his hands. Plus, could have been another pick right there. Sam Mills, just put your hands out. That's a pick six to the crib. But unfortunately, no animation from Sam Mills right there. He's still able to break it up, which is nice. And then right here, kind of a risky throw. Again, DRC has been getting tested all game. I need him to just make one more play for me. 210. He's going to go ahead and spike the ball. I like that decision. Two-man rush for me here. I've kind of made a bad decision on this drive as he throws a beam on a rollout corner deep down the sideline. That's what that escape artist quarterback can do for you, man. I decided to run dollar. Over G had been bagging my opponent like all game. Just absolutely bagging him. And for some reason, I just... Dude, like, I need to catch one of these picks, man. Please, just one of them. I mean, I'll take the breakup for sure. Third and goal right here. I'm going to put everyone in coverage it's there's a minute 48 in the clock i want to milk as much time as possible okay with him scoring we actually had ronnie lott was supposed to be in that zone as you can see there he actually got tripped up by his own player so the second time ronnie lott has been robbed of a potential pick by getting tripped by his own player i think the first time was paul amalu early in the game i don't know who tripped him that time but we're in kind of a tough spot here man he has all three timeouts we're gonna have to pass after taking a loss on second down we have both routes wide open. The post was open. He was running back to it, but he was way too far over top. And then we had the post route open for a touchdown as well. We throw it, but unfortunately, we get hit as we throw. He generates a ton of pressure. We're not able to complete it. And then right there on third down, he plays great defense. So we're in a lot of trouble, man. I know I, I could have ran, but the run game wasn't really working for me. I lost yards on first down, and he still had both timeouts, so he would still have time to go ahead and get seven. 
And then Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott's kind of having a tough game for me, man. Ronnie Lott's been a great player for me, but this game, definitely going through it. Not all his fault. Scary Terry, very tough to guard. 96, 97 speed. You can't really expect Ronnie Lott to keep up in man coverage right there with no safety over top. My opponent's on the four-yard line. First and goal right here. We're going to send a little bit of a blitz, mix it up, force him out of bounds. He's hoping for an intentional grounding, but because he has a skate artist, he's able to escape the box. Ricky Jackson going to ham this game. Probably my best player this game. Another sack, but he doesn't really lose a ton of yardage. Third and goal right here. An out route. I had no flat zone. I wanted to switch it up. I've been running zone the first two plays. He runs a man beater. I happen to be in man for the first time that series. And he cooks me for a touchdown. He's actually going to go for two right here. He runs the bubble. Ronnie Lott is able to hit him before the end zone. And he breaks the tackle. Ronnie Lott having himself a pretty rough game. Oh, my goodness. It's looking like it's going to be over, man. Again, just super tough right there. Ronnie Lott was able to get there. He just wasn't able to wrap up and make the tackle. Definitely a tough game, man. We dropped we dropped quite a few picks. I thought we played okay on offense. We played great on defense. Besides that one drive where we just kind of switched the dollar and just let him score an easy touchdown, you know, we played great, great defense. But psych, Vernon Davis over top. My opponent gets too aggressive with nine seconds left in the game. We throw an absolute laser to Vernon Davis to get into field goal range, man. Here we go. We're kicking an ice kick. Actually, no, we're not. He doesn't have a timeout. All we have to do, man, is not misclick any sort of lag, anything like that. We're big time trouble. We're able to drill it straight down the middle, though. Take home the dub. What an absolutely wild back and forth game. I, I played so well early in the game. My opponent had a ton of fight. He was able to bring it back. He ton of ton of balls to go for it there on the two-point conversion able to get it and then we're able to dot him with nine seconds left i did not like that decision for my opponent we both made mistakes on big drives here man switching up defenses running defenses we shouldn't have ran gave up two easy touchdowns but a great game man ggs to some serious one of the better competitive madden players in the world and Dude, I, I mean, we were, we were able to take home the tournament. I couldn't ask for a better game. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you guys did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys, man.